we're going to talk about our solid work holding component library for a chuck. To start off, we're looking at a 10 inch six jaw chuck and we want to load this into our mill turn environment. So the first thing I've already selected a Mazak Integrex I100 ST machine. And I'm going to open up my code expert and look into my component library. And I'll select open Mazak Integrex component library. So I've created, or I'm going to create a new chuck group and I'll go add chuck and I'm going to rename this to a 10 inch six jaw chuck. The next thing I'm going to go in and select my solid entity which I've already loaded. I'll select that from a file and I'm going to go select my 10 inch six jaw chuck. Once this loads I'm going to go in, I'm going to select the main body of the chuck, and then I'll select the mounting face where it's going to mount. I'm going to check to make sure that my jaw is going to be parallel to the x-axis. That's important for the jaw alignment. This looks good. So I'll just green check to this. Now once we're into the chuck manager, we can change some of the parameters inside of the jaw, which is inside of the jaws here we can change this to six it already has the chuck the jaw width and all the parameters of the step file that we bought in so the next thing we need to do is go under our parameters we'll change our max spindle speed to I don't know 2500 sounds good and we'll go green check to this so now we're going to look at adding our chuck jaws. So we'll say add chuck jaws and we'll go load our solid and we'll pick it from the library. We'll pick the same 10 inch chuck jaw. But this time we're going to select a jaw. So we'll select one of the jaws. We'll select our mounting face. And then we're going to have to rotate the jaw to align it with the chuck. So we'll say minus 90. It's the way we want this jaw to look. So that looks good. So we'll say okay to this. And now we can go in and change it to spin parameter or spin boundary. And then we'll define our chuck jaw. Next thing with parameters we're going to look at is we'll give a preset diameter. Take 3.5. And now we'll select our reference point. Once I have my reference point selected, everything looks good to me. I'm going to green check to this. And before I green check, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Say yes, I'm going to back it up. And then I can green check. So now we want to add a collet chuck the same way we added our, uh, our 10 inch chuck. So we've got our collet and our chuck. So now we're going to start by adding our collet chuck. And just like we did before, we're going to select from a solid entity, and go to our file, and I have already have one loaded here. So I'm going to select that, select the main body of the collet, select my mounting position, and that all looks good. Green check. So now I can go in and I can set up some parameters, but we need to go in and go to our parameters and set our max spindle speed and we'll set that to I don't know 6,000 maybe sounds good everything here looks pretty good so we'll green check and now we need to add our collet so we'll go to our collet group and say add collet and we're going to do the same thing solid entity select our file we'll go select that again and now we're going to go select just the collet. Now that gap there is a value we need to set. I've already measured it. It's a predetermined gap. It's three millimeters. So once we have our collet selected, now we'll give it that distance that I was talking about of three millimeters. And we'll go from this face. Oh, let's align this opposite and get this oriented in the correct direction. Go select my Z. And we'll move that over minus three millimeters. And that looks good. So I will go in and green check to this. Everything looks good. 
and I'm going to save this and I'll green check as soon as it saves all right so now we're going to talk about using your work holding components from the library so we're going to say select a new chuck and once this opens you'll see now we have the option to select our 10 inch chuck and we'll say okay green check now we have our chuck in the background so we're going to jump jump forward on this a little bit to go preview the chuck and now we have our six jaw chuck and our parameters loaded that we predetermined now I can green check to that. So let's jump into machine simulation and let's see how this all loads for us. So we have a basic tool path here, just a lathe rough and our pick off cutoff. So I'm going to go ahead and post this and I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And if you notice on the screen right now, you can already see the six jaw and the collet. Once this opens up here, uh, we have our Mazak Integrex, and we can see our six jaw chuck and our collet. And there's our part sitting in the machine. I'm going to go ahead and turn off some of this sheet metal so we can see this a little bit better. And now we're looking at it from the top view. And I'm going to run the simulation. And you can see here we do our little rough OD. Comes in and parks. The collet's going to come in, pick off our part and parts it off. So that is just a simple way to add in those features.